welcome back to my channel ah yes journals these are all my journals as you can see it's all a bit of a mess and you may have also seen if you're if you've been around for a while that I got one of the new uh, limited edition traveler's notebook journals as well which I haven't actually started using because I want to rethink what I've got going on here so I'll just do a quick walkthrough of what I actually have and where I think I'd like to go if that makes sense so um, my first journal here is my traveler's notebook passport size in the brown and this is my tea journal so uh, if you follow me on Instagram or if you've seen some of my flip throughs you'll know that I'm up to volume 8 of my tea journals and yeah, it's really good. I, I don't have all that much to say when I'm doing my tea journaling. Um, but I do, it takes me about 20 minutes, about the time to drink a cup of tea. And I do a little collage and I drink my tea. And yeah, I'm, I'm happy and good to go. So this is perfect for that. I wouldn't change this for the world. I absolutely love it. So, I'll just put that aside. Now, I have another passport size journal here. This one's a little different. It's a different brand. I actually got it uh, as part of a mystery box. And I'm not sure if you can see, but the leather on the cover is thicker and it's stiffer it's not as flexible as the traveler's notebook uh, this is the one um, I take if I'm going on short trips and I um, yeah you can see here too it's the inside I don't I don't know if this is leather it, kind of doesn't look like it um, yeah so this has got my um, still has my insert from from Sydney um, and it also has my little uh, stick release paper uh, booklet in it as well so I'm not that keen on this one uh, it doesn't really lie flat very well. Um, yeah, I'm. It doesn't. It, I'm not. I'm not that enamoured of it. So I might. Um, I'm not sure. I'm actually going to be using this one anymore. Um, but I'm not quite sure what to do with it either. <sighs> The elastic's also quite chunky on it, so it just takes me a bit of time to get everything in position there. Yeah. So next I have a little notebook with my washi swatches in it. Um, haven't updated it for a while I probably should um, and this is okay but it was just a cheapie from uh, Daiso it doesn't have that many pages left in it um, though I'm starting to use the backs of the, uh, the other pages Yeah, it's getting a bit scuffed up. 
Uh, this is my stamp and ink journal, which was actually made for me by a pen pal, uh, Saviana. And so in here I have my ink swatches. Uh, I've broken it up into different um, brands. And I also have my rubber stamp collection. So I've just gone through, I've put them into categories and I've stamped them on other paper so I don't get any bleed through and just uh, stuck them in here. So I still have some room in here. But somehow I think what I would like to do is to have these together. So I have a swatching journal that I have not only my inks and my stamps and my washi swatches but I would also like to have an insert with my fountain pen inks yeah and then I could keep it all together and it would look a little bit more consistent ah, so then this is an, another journal and the cover on this was actually um, coming apart and so I tried to glue some paper over the top and it didn't quite stick and so I've had to put on some masking tape and the cover's a bit bendy and in here I've just done some um, oh, what would you call it like collage art journaling style oh, I love that paper so nice <laughs> Yeah, and so that was going nicely for a while. That was October last year that I did that one. Yeah, I was obviously very keen. November, December, more December, oh, well, November, but, you know, with few of my favorite thi uh, things. This was a, a prompt from Cafe Analog. Um, not sure if I put... Oh yeah, 18th of January this year. And yeah, <laughs> then I stopped because I found I didn't really like um, the size of this and I don't like the notebook it looks <sighs> it looks very shabby and I, I wanted to start working in here to see if I liked doing this sort of style of journaling and while I liked doing that I don't like this notebook <laughs> that's, that's what it comes down to I, I I don't like it I don't, I don't I, yeah so I'm wondering whether I just Marie Kondo it thank it and let it go <laughs> um, the other thing I'm thinking is that uh, the paper in it is actually this is quite nice smooth paper um, what I could do is actually take the paper out and do a bit of DIY uh, inserts for my passport size journal so it wouldn't be a complete waste because that would be no good or I could use it for writing letters or something but as a journal no don't like it 
So that brings us on to my next one and this is my pen pal journal. So this is where I keep my record of mail in and mail out. Um, I can't show you in it because I have people's addresses and things like that so um, I'm not going to share that. Um, I keep some business cards in the back um, from places I've done orders from. Yeah and I like this setup. This is my second one. Um, I keep a little um, Polaroid of um, what I've sent out and what I've received and I make a few notes and I keep the letters in a binder and yeah I wouldn't I wouldn't change that because it does get quite chunky so you can see I'm halfway through this is what um, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, and now we're into August. Um, and yeah, this will probably do me for another 12 months, I reckon, at least. And my previous one, it's like this big. <laughs> it's super chunky, like super chunky. So this works well. And then, fi I want to say finally, um, I have my everyday journal, which is the one that you see me journaling in each week that I share with you. And yeah, I'm really, really loving this. Um, it's working well for me. Um, I love the memory keeping page and yeah it's I just really really enjoy using it so where does that leave me <laughs> she says so because I have to say unequivocally these are my two favorite journals um, and I have another one of these waiting in the wings I think I might try to consolidate um, I'll leave this one as it is but I want to consolidate um, these into one do something about the paper in this one and yeah I've got to clean this one up but yeah this one might have to go to a new home I think okay so this is uh voice over me now um, I ran out of time so in when I used to keep a bullet journal this is my loish term um, you can see I used to keep everything together in the one spot which was really I, I really liked that it was um, nice to see it on the paper that I was using so um, yeah I used to keep a currently reading and finished reading and all sorts of things like that um, so now I've had a little bit of time to think it's a couple of days after I filmed going through my um, journals with you and I am going to put an order in at bookbinders design which is in Melbourne in Australia and they are actually a partner shop uh, an official partner shop of the travelers uh, company so um, let's pop over to their website and um, I'll show you what I'm thinking 
of uh, what I'm going to order to put in my uh, Travelers Hotel. Yeah, we still have back in stock. Um, oh, the Travelers Records still sold out. But yes. So I think I will get. Ah, uh, that's the grid. Uh, yeah, so they've got the the number three blank. Now I've actually got a spare one of those, so I might get that one for doing my fountain pen swatching. Uh, well, not get it. I've got it. I might use it for fountain pen swatching, and then. Uh, they've got the lightweight paper here, which I think would be good for doing the washi tape um, samples because it's not going to bulk up too much already being a thinner paper and I can write on it too because it's still the nice MD paper. Then, um, oh. Oh yeah, they've got a sale on at the moment, so it's a little bit tempting. I think I might get some of these um, pocket stickers. I think that might be good when um, traveling. They might be really handy. You get 18 of them. You get six sheets of three pocket stickers. So yeah, I think I'll toss one of those in. And then the dot grid. Um, which is good for I really like the dot grid it's what I'm used to I like the grid as well but that might be nice for a travel journal so I might get a couple of those as well seeing they're currently on sale um, yeah it's uh, very tempting when you scroll through their website yeah, I wouldn't mind getting one of those uh, uh, special inserts, but I'm just not sure how I would use it with the colours. Um, yeah, and oh yeah, because they're a partner shop, they've got these short trip inserts, so uh, they're not on sale, but $5.95. And if you spend over a certain amount, you get free shipping, so I think it's worth... Um, yeah, it's only available at the Travels Factory in partner stores. So yeah, I think I'll definitely get one of those as well. I would absolutely love to have a regular sticker release paper. Because I've got the small one for my passport and I love it so much. However, I've got a plan for this. So I think that will be a future video. <coughs> Mm, it's so handy it's so handy um, yeah so I think that's uh, they're the things I'm going to order so I'll pop that order in and yeah so the follow-up video will, for this one I think will be yeah that's the passport size that I have um, the follow-up video to this one will be setting up my travelers notebook hotel edition uh, to do all those um, swatching type journals that I was talking about. Yeah, so so they're a, um, tra a traveler's company partner shop. So I'm going to ask them if they can stamp in my refills or at least, you know, one of them, um, maybe two. Hmm. So thanks so much for watching. And yeah, so um, I'll wait and get my order and then we'll set it up together so yeah stay tuned for part two bye